Me. We just got this gun violence restraining order into our newsroom that seems to have prevented this guy from getting a gun here in Colorado last year. In these documents, the regents of the University of California asked for this restraining order on behalf of one of its employees and another one of her co-workers. The protection order accused Harris of sending emails in April of 2020 to his mother threatening to murder an employee. The actual subject line of the email had the words plans to murder with an MP5 for giving him schizophrenia. And the body of the email suggested that he would be moving closer to UC Irvine's campus so he could put bullets in the employee's skull. It's a professor he first met at Duke University. So his mother ended up turning these messages over to the authorities. He also had a prolific online presence and his channel appears to have already been knocked offline. But a lot of the footage he has involved uh, references to violence and some involved what seemed like complete nonsense. Lung cancer. Matthew Christopher Harris's online page had lots of videos, some featuring shooting or driving video games with narration, and others with racially charged language or unusual rants. You can't just download people. All the female members of your species. <laughs> The problem solvers found this online profile for the former UCLA philosophy instructor where California students reviewed his classes. With only a few students commenting, one wrote, easily my least favorite class at UCLA ever. He made the final a 16-page essay all about race in America, a topic that was not discussed at all in class. We do believe that he had a connection here in Boulder, but we're just not sure. Um, of the magnitude of the relationships here at this time. Boulder police revealed they were disturbed by Harris's extremely violent oh, manifesto that contained threats to Boulder near the university. According to the UCLA campus newspaper, The Daily Bruin, Harris faced an investigation during his time as a lecturer when he was accused of sending a video with pornographic content to a student. And Boulder police said they also had contact with Harris in October, but there was no criminal activity at the time, so he was not arrested. We are still going through this restraining order, and we'll have a lot more for you tonight at 9 o'clock. I'm Lori Jangley, Fox 31. All right.